Today I'm going to show you how to get a PostgreSQL database up and running inside of a Docker container and how to connect to it with your SQL client. So the first thing we need to do is run our Docker pull Postgres command. If you wanted to, you could do a colon with a tag here if you're looking for a specific version or something like that, but we're just going to go with the default tag of latest and pull down the latest version of the Postgres image. Okay, now that that's done, we need to run our docker run command. And there's a couple of different flags that we need to provide to this. So the first one is name. I'm going to call this container Postgres example. I'm going to tell it to run in detached mode with D flag. I'm going to provide it with a port. I'm going to have it run on my local port 2022 mapped to the container port of 5432, which is the default for Postgres. Then I need to give it an environment variable of host Postgres password, and I'm going to give it a password of Postgres. And then finally, we need to tell it what image we want to run. So again, we're running the Postgres image. We'll hit enter. And we'll get back this uh, ID here. And if I open my Docker desktop, you'll see that we have Postgres running on port 2022. And if we look at the logs here, it says it's ready for startup. If we click the CLI button, we can run a PSQL dash u postgres and that'll get us inside of the database and then we can do a list here and we'll see we have the postgres and the two template databases that you start with i'll go ahead and exit out of this and then i'll open up dbeaver which is my sql client of choice the same process can be used for data grip or pg admin or, or whatever client you want to use i'm going to add a new connection here i'll choose postgres Localhost, we need to change the port to whatever local port we used. In the example, it was 2022. Username is Postgres. Password, we used Postgres. I'll go over here. I'm going to click the Show All Databases option, and then I'll hit Test Connection. We'll see that our connection was successful. Then I'll hit Finish. Then we can double click here to connect to the database. And if I expand this, you'll see we have our Postgres database. I'll open up the CLI here, create database, test DB, and then here, if we refresh, you'll see that database. There you go. There's how to get PostgreSQL up and running inside of a Docker container in just a couple of minutes.